Good morning, this is Bill Biederman with the early morning comments from the Allendale Trading Desk. Uh, today the dollar is uh, just about flat, just a shade higher. Euro is taking a breather today. They do expect uh, higher corporate earnings in Europe in the second quarter. Not sure how that's going to work out because uh, still a lot of problems over there and we don't expect them to go away. Bank OBBVA today their stock was up 2.6%. Uh, however, next week they're still going to need to deal with the fact that they didn't get financing on a billion dollars or short-term uh, needs that they have to have. So that needs to be resolved by next week or we'll see some pressure again in the euro. Uh, U.S. did report today that uh, personal income was up four-tenths of one percent. Uh, they were expecting it to be up 0.5, so that was pretty neutral. But uh, U.S. Uh, personal spending uh, actually was down six-tenths of a percent and they were looking for it to be up three-tenths of a percent. So almost a full percent uh, swing below expectation and that is not going to work for a U.S. economic recovery. We have to have strong spending. Over in the dollar, we do have support in the dollar at 85.90. And so far that held today. If that does get taken out, probably the 85.30 would be absolute key. If that gets taken out, then there'd be a double top. You'd see a lot of selling. But we don't really expect that right now, not until next week when we see what the euro does. And if the euro is weaker next week because of the banking issues that I just told you about, we'll probably see the dollar resume its upward trend. Uh, and if we take out 87.30 on the dollar, uh, that would get an acceleration move going on the charts. Uh, in the crude oil, we're at 74.75. That's up about 19. So again, mostly a flat market today. Uh, we're getting close to the resistance band, which is between 75 and 79. Support on the chart down below 70. $70 down to $66. So we're really just kind of in a neutral area, and we might see some resistance develop up at this levels. Demand is uh, down here in the United States and most industrial nations is down because most people have traded off their uh, poor cars for more efficient cars. Demand growth is going to come from the India Chinese market and right now that uh, new car sales over there is not exceeding the demand decline that we're seeing in other parts of the world. Corn market today is at 372. That's down one and a quarter cents. Uh, basically we're moving up towards resistance between uh, up towards three 380. 362 has kind of been a pivotal point on the chart. When we're below it, we bump up against it and fail. When we're above it, it becomes support. So 362 right now, about a dime lower is support. That's a good buying area. If we take 362 out, then we'd reverse it back to this short looking for 350. In the bean market, uh, we're going to be just a shade lower down about three or four cents. We've got a sell zone between 950 and 960. That's where Allendale's been saying to, to sell it in a buy zone between 925 and 914. And uh, ideal weather in the beans. Uh, there's just one part of the country that has not been able to get planted uh, 100%, and that's in that Missouri through Tennessee area. And actually the weather looks pretty good. Uh, we're going to have some dry weather and hot weather again for the next 10 days, and then really good widespread rains in the 16-day period. In the wheat market, uh, we've got resistance at 480. We should be sellers up in that area because of the world stock situation situation and uh, the world prices which remain down around the 440 level so we're still uh, overpriced here in the United States 462 is short-term support and then 455 would be the next level ultimately though 440 is our goal on that by the way, in the grains, we do have a special report coming out. We are getting close to a period where we're looking for seasonal lows. Uh